Have you ever seen birds perched in a tree or on a wire and preening? Chances are that you have because it's a common behavior among birds, one that is easy to observe. When you consider that maintaining plumage and good trim is a matter of life and death to birds, it's no wonder they spend so much of their day taking care of their feathers. In fact, it's so important that even in the nestling stage, they are already doing it. By preening, they keep their feathers free from parasites that would destroy them. It also maintains their aerodynamic function because in order to fly at their very best, each feather needs to be in tip-top condition. And also, cared for and good-looking feathers help to attract a mate. Although every bird is able to care for their own feathers, some birds can't help but to preen each other. This type of preening is known as mutual preening or aloe preening. It's a good way to help each other get at feathers in hard to reach places, such as the back of the head. But although it helps each other to care for those hard to reach feathers, it is also thought that this sharing of maintenance duties is a social behavior because it can help strengthen pair bonds or flock membership. And just look at the crow who is being groomed. It is pretty obvious that it is loving every second of it. It loved it so much that when the one doing the preening would stop and move away, he'd move in closer and put its head down in a gesture expressing that he wanted more. And more he got. You have to admit that it's a pretty adorably sweet thing.